More than 90% of motorcycle riders only experience one or two types of engines in their entire life. Without ever realizing just how wild and different the world of motorcycle engines really is. Some are built for pure speed, some for crazy power, and others are just meant to shock anyone who sees them. In this video, you'll find out about engines most people don't even know exist. And once you see what's hidden beyond the usual bikes, you'll never forget it. Don't skip number 6, because missing one moment of this could mean missing a piece of motorcycle history. First, single cylinder. This is where it all began. Simple, rugged, and full of character. One big piston thumping up and down like it's trying to punch its way through the road. That's a single cylinder for you. It's called a thumper for a reason, and it delivers that signature raw feeling, especially on small CC bikes. They're light, cheap to fix, and built to take a beating without complaining. At low speeds, they're brutally punchy, like a sprinter ready to launch at the slightest twist of the throttle. But at high RPMs, they start getting a little out of breath. They are perfect for lightweight motorcycles, commuters, and even some feisty entry-level sport bikes. The single cylinder keeps things thrilling without emptying your wallet. Machines like the Honda Super Cub and the KTM 690 Duke owe their charm to this minimalistic powerhouse. Two cylinders. Step up to two cylinders, and suddenly the engine world gets a whole lot more exciting. Inline twin, V twin, L twin, boxer. In an inline twin, the pistons line up side by side, sharing the load evenly. It's smooth, reliable, and perfect for bikes that want to keep things easy going, but still kick when needed. Then comes the V twin, where the cylinders form a sharp V shape delivering that deep, addictive rumble that shakes your bones and makes Harleys and Ducatis sound like thunder rolling in the distance. Push the V a little wider and tilt it forward, and you meet the L-Twin, Ducati's signature setup that hugs the road with a punchy torque curve and a rebellious spirit. Finally, there's the Boxer, where the pistons punch outward from opposite sides like two heavyweights throwing jabs. It's smooth, balanced, and stubbornly cool under pressure, just like you'd expect from a BMW GS taking on a mountain. With two cylinders, every arrangement tells a different story, and none of them believe in being boring. Three cylinders. There are a few ways this trio of pistons can line up, and each one has its own personality. Inline triple V3, engine W3 engine. The inline triple is where all three cylinders stand neatly in a row delivering a balance that feels eerily smooth yet packed with punch. It's narrow, nimble, and hits that sweet spot between low-end grunt and high-revving excitement. Just ask the Triumph Street Triple or Yamaha MT-09. Then there's the rare and rebellious V3 engine, where two cylinders huddle together on one side and the third sticks out alone, mostly built for racing machines that wanted to break every rule before the rulebook even caught up. And if things weren't weird enough, meet the W3 engine. Three cylinders sharing a common plane but arranged in a wild triangular handshake. Built for sheer uniqueness and jaw-dropping torque, the W3 is a mechanical oddball that reminds you motorcycles aren't just built to move. They're built to make statements. Four cylinders. When four cylinders come together, things start to get seriously fast and dangerously addictive. The most famous setup is the inline four, where all four pistons line up perfectly like soldiers ready to charge. It's compact, smooth, and screams to the moon at high RPMs, making it the engine of choice for legends like the Honda CB750, Yamaha R1, and the blistering Kawasaki Ninja H2. These engines love speed, crave revs, and deliver a buttery ride, even when your world is blurring past at triple digits. But for those who want something even tighter and more compact, there's the V4 engine. Instead of standing side by side, the pistons split into two banks, forming a V, giving bikes like the Ducati Panigale V4 and Honda RC 213V, that explosive combination of torque, razor-sharp handling, and MotoGP pedigree. Five cylinders. These engines are like a secret handshake in the motorcycle world. Rare, fascinating, and a little tricky. In an inline five, all five pistons stand in a row, offering a blend of the smoothness of a six cylinder with the compact size of a four. 
It sounds incredible and pulls like a freight train, but balancing them perfectly is tough, and vibration issues creep in at high RPMs. Then there's the even rarer V5 engine, famously used by Honda in MotoGP. It delivered wild power and brilliant mid-range punch, but it was complex, expensive, and hard to package neatly inside a motorcycle frame. Five cylinders sound exotic, but their quirks kept them off most showroom floors. Six cylinders. These engines are where motorcycles start feeling more like magic carpets than machines. The classic inline-six lines up six pistons in perfect harmony, delivering buttery smooth power and a sound that sings at high revs. Just ask anyone who's heard a Honda CBX scream. Then there's the flat six, where three cylinders lie flat on each side, balancing the bike like a gymnast, found in touring giants like the Honda Goldwing. And finally, the ultra-rare V6, a tight, torquey design that shows up mostly in race bikes and extreme customs. But six cylinders aren't all sunshine. They add weight, cost, and complexity, making them a luxury few riders actually need. But once you ride one, it's hard to forget. Eight-cylinder engines. These engines in motorcycles are pure madness. And that's exactly why they exist. Packing a V8 into a bike means ridiculous power, thunderous sound, and the kind of acceleration that feels like reality itself is stretching. Machines like the Moto Guzzi 5.8 and Boss Haas didn't just chase speed. They redefined what too much looks like. But with great power comes great problems. V8 bikes are insanely heavy, outrageously expensive, and about as practical as strapping yourself to a rocket. They're not built for daily commutes. They're built to turn heads, break records, and leave a trail of dropped jaws behind. 10 Cylinder Engines We're talking about monstrous creations like the Milliard Viper 510 and the Dodge Tomahawk where car engines meant for muscle beasts were crammed into two-wheeled machines. The result? Mind-melting horsepower, terrifying top speeds, and enough heat and weight to cook dinner while you ride. But as wild as they are, V10 motorcycles are completely impractical. Too heavy, too complex, and way too dangerous for anything resembling normal riding. They're not transportation, they're rolling proof that when it comes to engineering dreams, or nightmares, there really are no limits.